Hello, friends. Welcome or welcome back to Shadow Play Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Make yourselves at home. And if you are returning, then I am sending you a hug. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for coming back and hanging out with me while we do these readings. I hope everyone has been doing amazing. Um, and yeah, let's get started. So for today's reading, you know, I kind of, I took a week off in between filming and internet time. It didn't really like skip a beat, but in real time, um, I did take a little break and I wanted to come back when I felt inspired, um, by a reading topic. I've, you know, just been kind of laying low. I myself have been in hermit mode. I don't know how you guys have been feeling. Um, I did go out this weekend and I was social and, um, when I got home, I had to energetically cleanse myself because I wasn't used to being around people anymore that, um, you know, I just kind of was like a little overwhelmed with energy. Um, and yeah, so other than that, I've been laying low and just kind of thinking about the direction of these readings and where I would like to take them. And I thought, you know what, let's do a career check-in. I feel like everyone I talk to kind of feels the same. No one can like plan long-term, like any plan that we have is like for the next few weeks or the next couple months. It's like, we can no longer set down like a one year, two year, five year goal. It's just the times we live in are kind of tricky right now. So I figured we can all like benefit from a little bit of insight as to what's going on in our careers. So if you don't feel like you have a career, that's totally fine. This is like job related. So whatever you do or whatever it is that you do for work at whatever level it is, let's see what messages can come through. I was, um, I was going to say premeditating, but I think that's like something else. I meant like literally premeditating. <laughs> like meditating before this. Um, and I was just kind of thinking, like I was shuffling the deck and I was just thinking, okay, what, what advice does anyone that come across this reading need to hear regarding their career? So we are going to be asking spirit, what do we need to know about our current job situation? And yeah. And for advice, we are going to be doing tarot, a little bit of Oracle, and let's go ahead and finish it with a charm cast. That's always fun. So we will be doing that for each three of these groups. These are all amazing, strong women who have had or had just these, they built legacies. Each one of these women have built a legacy on their own. Um, Unfortunately, not all of them are still here with us, but um, yeah, luckily two of them are. This is Aaliyah. Let's go through. So this is group one. We have little Kim. Oh my gosh. Uh, in the video where she was wearing the blue wig, I think it was for crush on you. We have group two, one in a million, Aaliyah. So good. And group three, we have Miss Lauren Hill from the Miseducation of Lauren Hill. I just love that album. There's so many good songs on that album. Um, and so my friends take them in, see what group resonates one, two, or three, and I will meet you at your reading. Hello, my group number ones. If you picked little Kim, then this is your reading. Thank you so much for joining me here today. We are going to move her. Um, but I will give you a closer look before I do that. <laughs> I just love these stickers. That's why I never wanted to stick them on anything. All right, so let's get started. Like I mentioned in the intro today, we are going to be asking our guides, asking spirit um, for career advice. What do we need to know about our career slash job? Um, and yeah, what advice is there for us? So we'll see. We'll kind of let the, the messages lead um, what, what else we should ask, but let's get started. I just pre-shuffled your deck, and I did, I was shown the 
we got the Ace of Wands reversed. So maybe something that should have been exciting isn't exciting or there's a something blocking something exciting from starting. Um, so I was going to say that when I was pre-shuffling, I was shown the full card. So there could be a new start coming for you guys. Thank you, Spirit, for... Let me, let me look at these. I haven't even started yet. So there's lots of passion going on, but it seems like there's blockages. There's um, something about an imbalance of handling a situation. Let, let's let start, um, not that I don't want to take those, but I haven't, you know, really even touched the deck and the messages are f already flying. So let's take note of that. It does look like there's a lot of passion with blockages. So we'll see where the rest of your messages go. Thank you, Spirit, for those messages. Thank you for allowing me to channel messages for Group 1. What does Group 1 need to know about their career? What does Group 1 need to know about the current energy of their career? Yeah, it seems like there's changes coming. I think you, and it's something that you've done for a long time, perhaps. I mean, yeah, that shows like it's a long time. All right. Wow. Okay. Lots of cards, but this is good. The messages are good. I'm seeing a huge change for you, group number one. We have the world card. We do have the wheel of fortune in reverse, which kind of makes me feel like maybe there's a resistance to destiny here because there is something major that does have to change. I feel like you are going to be pulling, um, not pulling away, but becoming independent of something that maybe you were dependent on for a long time. You are coming, you're showing up as this really um, abundant person who, like, I feel like everything you need to know to go off on your own, everything that you need to know before you become this super independent person standing on your own. Um, like you already have those skills is what I'm, what I'm hearing and what I'm feeling here. There is a sense that you do want to like break away from a tradition, break away from something that maybe you were expected to do for a long time. Maybe no one else around you has done whatever it is you're plotting. Are you plotting group number one? I don't see that yet. I kind of started backwards on your um, reading, but that's because I just feel like it's so loud and clear here. Like whatever you're getting ready to shake up or if something is being shaken up and I don't see fear here, so I'm not even going to say if you have fears regarding that, but it's, it's more like don't like, don't be doubtful. And I feel like you already know that you do bring a lot into the situation. Like whatever the situation was, I feel like it was working for a long time, but now you're, you're like, um, you're grown, you know, you're grown folk, you're, you're ready to um, elevate is what I'm feeling. And whatever is changing here, it has been something that has been a foundation of, um, you know, maybe it's a job you've been at where, um, you know, it supported you and it gave you enough for all the years that you were there. But I feel like maybe you've outgrown the situation because you've been giving a lot. Um, I feel like you got news about something. You got maybe um, literally it just came to you like an email, a message, uh, whatever it was. I feel like you got a message regarding an opportunity that was going to make everything you went through before like worth it. Like, I feel like, you know, that this is going to be like, like you already went to war and now it's like time for victory. And I feel like whatever news you got, like you made up your mind about it. And I feel like, you know, you're very like headstrong about it. Like, I, I feel like you've done your research. You're being very logical, very smart about things. Um, but there is a sense here that you are, breaking away from a very traditional system. You're breaking away from something that, like I said, it's almost like the feeling that you are expected to do it in a certain way. 
Um, and it, it, it does feel like it is going to shake up your foundations because I'm sure you've built these strong relationships with people, maybe in the workplace. And you're like, I'm leaving all of this. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know what the tie is here, but it feels like there's a tie to your, your foundation, your, your community is tied in. Um, and it shows like you're kind of rebelling against like, you know, it feels like rebelling a little bit against the tradition, the, the norm, the status quo, if you will. Um, yeah, but like I said, I, I, I love these cards. I love these cards for you because, yes, it shows changes to something big, but it also shows you being this beautiful, independent person who is nurturing and has enough to give. Um but there is, you know, there were blockages that came out. I feel like there is a delay. So if there is a delay, don't get discouraged, group one, because I feel like you're very set up for your destiny. And I know that that sounds like dramatic, but it's true. Like, I feel like you're, you're already lined up, but there's something here that has to be worked out. And I'm almost positive it has to do with this 10 of pentacles because, you know, the 10 of pentacles, it took a long time to build up. So it can't just be broken down overnight. Maybe there's a process or a time frame or something that is maybe causing somewhat of a delay with this wheel of fortune reversed. So just make sure that you are lined up and like doing what feels right because when you do that that's you like being in line with like destiny like not going against the flow of things to help things out um but yeah there there does seem to be a little bit of a delay but like rest assured it is coming because it's not a coincidence that you got the world card and the wheel of fortune card even though we are reversed right now in the wheel of fortune i i do believe that that will turn around for you whenever this is wrapped up um when whatever loose ends you have to tie up i feel like um and like i said there there's a time factor involved as well my group ones all right that was I feel like that was a very if that resonated then you know that that message is for you and I'm sure it'll make sense to you um so let's ask for advice so that's what's currently going on thank you spirit so much for those messages can we get some advice for our group number ones Can we get some advice for group number ones? Glad that didn't catch on fire. Can we get some advice for our group number ones? There's the Ace of Wands again. This time it's upright. There's something here about facing your fears. There, and there's something about heartbreak and disappointment. I don't know if you feel like you're going to disappoint the people around you. And that's doubting your strength that you... Um, I don't know, group one, this, this could be a couple of different things. This could be acknowledging that there is something in the situation that disappointed you, or this could be you have this fear of letting others down. Um, maybe I'm, I don't see, I don't see anything about walking away, but for some reason, the scenario that I get is someone here leaving a long-term situation, a long-term job to follow something else that brings them excitement and that they have like a good feeling about. Um, so that could be one story that's going on, or this could be, um, yeah, I mean, that, that's really the story that's kind of coming in the loudest for me. So take it as it resonates. Maybe that um, well, is only going to apply to like one person, but I feel like there's a, there's a leveling up here in a situation. Maybe something is breaking down and there's a lot of disappointment involved in the workplace. Say that, um, you know, uh, jobs are closing. Like, let's say that your job is closing or relocating or something. There's a sense of sadness and disappointment and a sense of um, someone feeling like 
it's it's a big fear like there's there's fear here that they're not sure they can face but they can okay and the bottom of the deck is the four interesting one card stayed behind I didn't notice okay so that's coming up in your advice. It's the it's there's the there's this acknowledgement of like a disappointment coming through and f not feeling like you're like strong enough to face it is what I'm thinking. But I mean, you are. This is being pointed out here because I feel like the, that's how you currently feel or someone here feels that way. And it's like yes, you can like you can face this, you can face your fear, whatever it is regarding this situation. And I feel like there's a lot of love involved. There's a lot of caring here, and excitement. And I feel like you don't like not everything is known to you yet. I feel like right now there's information that you haven't gotten yet. So maybe it's about the holdup. Maybe it's about um, you know, this little bit of time where things aren't moving as quickly as they could be. Um, cause we did see that delay in, in starting this new chapter and, in, in, in things changing the wheel turning. Um, but it, it does seem like there's a lot of love here and excitement that's coming through. Um, we have the moon card in temperance. So it's like, have patience, have patience, because even if you feel right now, like you're frustrated or you, there's fears, I feel like there's fear coming up here of the unknown fear of what's going to happen. Like, I think that with time, things are going to be made known to you. You're not going to be sitting in this place of darkness. I also see that, um, spirit wants you to keep an eye out for people who have like, that are good, like collaborators. There's something here about of collaboration, working with a couple of other people towards a common goal. And it's going to take a lot of like methodical planning. I feel like this group, there's a lot of planning to be done and spirit is highlighting this, um, as something to like look out for, like, like it's something good that's coming through. Um, I'm not sure what's going to come of this collaboration that will be different for everybody, but, um, there's something here about planning very methodically with a group of people to make something happen. Um, but yeah, like I said, I, I you know, don't be patient, like just think about everything that you've already learned along the way and how you can implement that now, because remember you are the magician, um, but just be, you know, be kind with yourself in the situation, because like I said, you, you don't know everything about it yet. You're, you're still in the dark about certain things and you're supposed to be in the dark right now about those things you don't know. Cause it's, this is when you tap in, this is when you, um, you learn about yourself too, you know? All right. Thank you spirit for those messages. What else do your group ones need to know about their current job situation? Thank you. We have protection. So I don't know if you feel like you have to protect what you have. Look, mystery at the bottom of the deck. That is the like the moon card. We'll talk about that in a second. I don't know if you feel guarded or like you have to protect what you have, but spirit is highlighting that you are protected if you feel like you are fearful of like I said, the, the unknown, we have disruption. So yeah, this is, um, coming through as that delay, whatever that might be. There is a little, um, wrench thrown in the situation, but I feel like there's things to be learned through this disruption. Um, it is going to lead to your growth. I love that. What did I say just a few seconds ago that when you sit in the dark, you like get to know yourself in a different way. And I do see victory for you. I see happiness. I foresee your happiness. Group number one, these are your Oracle cards. I love those for you. There are good things coming. They're just a little delayed, like, you know, USPS lately. <laughs> All right, loves, let's pull some charms for you. Thank you, Spirit, for those messages. What else do my group ones need to know about their career situation? Let's get a few more. 
All right. Oh, look at, I love that you got the hot Sunday pin because this is three friends like that three of pentacles collaboration. We have Beychella 18. This to me is all about confidence. Like, oh my God, Beyonce in that epic um, Coachella performance. Like you want to get hyped, just YouTube that. We have the Prince scroll, and this to me is also about collaboration. It says, Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to celebrate this little thing called life. So getting together, collaboration. We have the La Brea pin. This is a big street in LA. Maybe it means something to you, maybe it doesn't. Maybe the initials LB or any of the other letters mean something to you. We have Nasty, another Prince pin. So maybe there's a Prince connection here. Maybe someone in this um, group that you will be collaborating with um, is really into Prince. We have Tacos in the heart pin. Maybe here, someone here loves Tacos. Taco stands, downtown LA is popping into my head. We have Dinosaurs Eat Man, Woman Inherits Earth. This to me is another like confidence, like strong pin, like having, and, and brave too, because it's like, who's braver than a T-Rex? Um, I mean, I don't think anybody is, but I don't know. <laughs> it just sounds like, you know, a T-Rex was pretty brave. And we have sadness wearing the cure pin. This is acknowledging that there is sadness and disappointment in a situation, but I feel like you are going to grow from it. Like those feelings are all temporary. My group ones is what I feel like I have to say to you. And so my loves, this has been your career reading. I hope it resonated and I will catch you at the next one. Thanks guys. Hello, group number two. If you picked... Aaliyah, one in a million, then welcome to your reading. Let me give you a better look at this beautiful sticker. I will put her right over here. And um, yeah, Aaliyah, bless our reading, bless our career, our career advice. Today, we will be asking Spirit, um, what do we need to know about our current um, career situation, job situation, you know, whatever it is you have going on. We're going to be using some tarot and some oracle cards. We will be asking for advice and then ending your reading with a little charm cast. So let's get started, my group number twos. Angels, ancestors, spirits, and guides, thank you so much for allowing me to channel these messages for group number two. What does group number two need to know about their career? What does group number two currently need to know? about their career. Group two, I knew this was going to come out because um, it was threatening. <laughs> it was threatening to come out when I was um, pre-shuffling. I don't know where that strength card is going to go yet. We'll see. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get some more cards. Thank you. So whatever it is you got going on, love, it is something long-term that you're holding on to out of fear. Thank you, Spirit. Let's see how many we have here. All right. I do think that this Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is important, so we will keep him off to the side. Okay. So... Children are showing up in your reading, so maybe you are the head of a family situation, or maybe you have um, a family of some sort, or you know, people that you take care of. Take that as it resonates. Doesn't, um, you know, it might not apply to everyone, but I did see that, so I thought I would mention it because maybe if there are children involved, that's affecting your decisions that you um, that you have to make or your plans, you know, when we're responsible for other people. Um, that can be, you know, that can be tricky. Okay, we got a lot of cards here. I like it. So 
I do feel like you do have a higher perspective of the situation, meaning like you are tuned in with your intuition. I do feel that. And I feel like even though you might want to act quickly on something, you're, you're not. You're remaining quiet. It's like you know better. Because um, I feel like it's very intuitive. And there's a sense here of planning very carefully. Let's start over here. Let's talk about this Ten of Pentacles. So like I said, this could be a situation that either you are the head of a family, you are the provider. Um and it's been like that for a long time, or you've been at this job for a long time. And this job has been, you know, what provides for you, um, what has provided for you for the long term. But there is a sense here of like ready to move on, like whether that's still in the same job and it just evolves to something more fitting for you. Um, it does feel like, like you there's a sense of wanting to, to like proceed, it, you know, like want, wanting to carry on with, um, with something. Um, and only you'll know what that something is. Cause what I'm seeing here is that even though there's a sense of wanting to move forward in life, probably like ready to, you know, go, go on to whatever could be next. There's a sense here that you are, are possibly holding on to this job out of fear that something else like the like the universe isn't going to provide more like you're you're afraid to lose what you do have so you know, which is totally understandable because like I said I do see um maybe someone here does have children um or a family of some sort but there is a sense here where there is fear involved as to why you are um, still holding on to something, whether that's your position or your job or um, maybe even materialistic things. Like maybe, um, may, I mean, you could be living beyond your means in some way, and that's why you're holding on out of fear. This is just kind of pointing out that there's a tie with the materialistic with fear, is what I'm getting. And fear is coming out twice here for you with the strength card reversed and this four of pentacles. There's just a sense of, of just scared, scared, scared of, um, scared of losing what you have. Uh, but I do see, like you did see something like you, you got some form of communication that I feel like perked up your ears and you're like, well, wait a minute, what was that? And it kind of got you like, it felt like a really good offer. Like maybe, maybe there was a job position that you saw that was open. And when you read the description, you like felt it pull at you, like from the inside, your soul, your heart felt like called to it. Cause you're like, this is describing like me. Um, but there's a sense here that in a time of rest, like there wasn't rest taken. I feel like there's a healing period here that was skipped over. And now it's, it's, uh, it's become kind of like a blockage in some way. Take it as it resonates. But usually when we get this four of swords reversed, it's speaking of time that we um, could have spent in like introspection and learning and healing and kind of um, almost like becoming spiritually stronger like maybe turning to prayer or meditation or just rest from a stressful situation. It feels like the time wasn't taken and it, it's showing up as a blockage. Like I do see that you did get communication or some kind of news or something that felt really good, but there, there's like something here that like um, a, an opportunity for rest wasn't taken and now it's coming up as a blockage. So take that as it resonates. I did mention the page of cups and the six of cups. So this is uh, like, it feels very childlike to me, something about the situation. There's like children keep coming up for me, but if that doesn't resonate with you, this could also be you being very in tune with your intuition and the things that you used to enjoy as a child, almost like nurturing your inner child. If this isn't about children, um, this could be about you nurturing your inner child and connecting back to like the things that you used to love doing that like sweet first love feeling, 
um, because there is like new emotions in your heart that do want to come in, even though there is this, this blockage, I feel like you want it to come in as well with this Knight of swords here. Like I said, it's, there's a sense here that you have this idea that you want to take action on, but this high priestess and this Knight of pentacles is telling me that you're, you're not moving and you're not saying yet it, you're, you know, I feel like you already know on the inside, your soul knows and now you're in this Knight of Pentacles mode, which is like very strategic, very thorough planning, just like planning things out. They want to be smart. Probably, um, you know, if it's money related, they're planning out, um, you know, maybe how to save or how to do this, take this offer so that it like works out in, in the best way way that it can work out through all this planning. Um, but I, I do feel like you have this um, intuitive, there's, a, there's intuition coming through here. So I do feel like, you know, whatever this is, you feel it in your heart that it is for you is what I'm getting here. All right, my group number twos, let's move on to your advice. Let's see what advice does spirit have for us today? Thank you, spirit, for those messages. All right. What advice do my group twos need to know about their career? What advice do my group twos need to know? There's that high priestess again. Follow your intuition is what I'm hearing. I feel like there's a sense of following what gets you excited and like, d uh, like don't listen to anyone else. Like, I feel like you don't need to go to anyone to seek answers because you have, you have your own answers. Yeah. I see like, I, f I see you as someone who sees what they want and they know they can create it. They know they can create it. Wow, these are very strong, beautiful cards. I feel like this Queen of Wands also keeps to herself, along with this High Priestess. We have the Ace of Wands here. Let's get one more card for this Six of Cups. Spirit, can we please get one more card? Please get one more card, thank you. So there's a sense here of releasing disappointments, releasing any kind of heartbreak and sadness um, of some kind of partnership that just didn't come about, didn't work out. Something about a partnership that, that could have been, but it just wasn't. There's a blockage there. And there was like disappointment that followed this, but it's time to release that. And I do see you as being this very strong, like strong person who sees what they want and, and knows how to work for it. Like, you know, there's risks involved, but you also know that you're very capable. And I feel like you might be keeping to yourself. And if you're not, this is spirit kind of just pointing it out. Like, Hey, like don't seek outside counsel. Like, I don't think that you are planning on it, but I'm just like mentioning it because this is very coming from within very uh, deeper knowing that you have, like third eye is open, you know, it's like you're, you're feeling your way through the situation is what I'm gathering. And I feel like it, it is like bringing so much excitement. It's bringing an exciting new opportunity your way. Um, there is something here that needs to be released with this child like energy this something about childhood is coming through and it's time to end a chapter. Um, take that as it resonates. The six of cups is like I said, very much about nostalgia, um, you know, inner child, like it, it could be a soulmate card in a love reading. Like it could mean many things, but at the end of the day, it's about love. It's about sweet, innocent love. And there's something here about a chapter ending. So let's say that this is a job that you got when you were really young and you kind of grew up in this, in this, um, 
environment, like now there's something that like, it's almost like you're leveling up is what I'm feeling. It's, it's, uh, yeah, there's definitely a level up happening here. And it's not that like this sweet love for whatever this is that, that used to make you really happy. It's not that it's not there anymore. What I do feel is that it's evolving because you are evolving. Um, and it's very beautiful. Even if it is uncomfortable at times, group two, I do think that it's going to lead you through tremendous growth of, you know, whatever that means to you. Um, I, I do think that there is going to be a leveling up going on here. All right. My group number twos. Wow. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, I really just like went deep into channeling and I don't even remember what I said 30 seconds ago. It's so interesting. <laughs> All right, loves, let's get your oracles. Thank you, spirit. Passion came right out. That ace of wands, something real exciting. I feel an exciting new beginning for you guys strength see whatever you feel like you don't have the strength to get through or you're you're avoiding you're avoiding dealing with things that you know aren't fun or kind of scare you like there's fear around them like you you do have the strength thank you spirit stop see there's something there about um, stopping in like healing, like you got the four of swords reverse. So, you know, um, hermit also came out four of swords. I do think that it is, um, time to go within my group number twos. Can we get one more spirit? And we have death, which you got in the second part of your reading. It is the end of something so that something new can be born. It is going to be the beginning of a new chapter. But before we can start the new, we have to close out the old. Take that as it resonates, my group number twos. All right. Let's pull some charms for you before we wrap up your reading. Thank you, Spirit, for those messages. What else do our group number twos need to know? Can we get some charms for our group number twos? Thank you. We have the Beastie Boys License to Ill pin. Um, maybe BB means something to you. There's also JM on there. We have La Nalgona Pin. Uh, maybe this means something to you. Maybe it does not. But this is about self-love and confidence. And you do have two pins regarding confidence. You also have the You Are Enough Heart. We have the Ha Ha Clown. This sometimes comes out when we're afraid as to what other people are going to think about us and our decisions. We have the Chamango Pin. Maybe someone here likes to snack. Um, chamoy is what came to mind. Um, we have the, the Minnie Mouse Disney ears. Uh, maybe there's a sport connection, Dodgers, baseball. Um, also, Disneyland is coming through. Maybe someone likes to wear red lipstick. We have this, we have the, this mom is doing her best. So I, like I said, I couldn't shake the feeling that maybe you are the head of your family, you're the provider, um, or there are children involved. That is for someone. Um, we have angel baby again. This um, can mean different things, but in this case, I'm going to take that as another um, kid reference, baby reference. <laughs> We have real eyes, real eyes, real eyes. This is about discernment, and this is about you turning into, inward, your intuition. I feel like your your intuition is pretty. Oh, I dropped it. It's pretty on point right now, um, and that's pointing that out. And we also have the Kanye pin. You're the sun in my morning, babe. So again, there's like sweet love, sweet feelings coming in through. Maybe you talk to your children that way. Um, take it as it resonates, my group number twos. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I will catch you at the next one. Thanks, guys. Hello, friends. If you picked 
this Lauren Hill sticker, group number three, then welcome to your reading. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I'll give you a closer look at your sticker. I just absolutely love these. That's why I never used them. <laughs> um, all right. Yeah, let's get started with your reading. The first two groups were definitely um, different feeling in vibe, but I feel like we're all just ready to either make these big transitions or are currently in a transition of some sort. Um, and you know, sometimes that can be uncomfortable. So we will see what comes out in your reading. When I was shuffling your deck, we, I did keep seeing the Ace of Pentacles and I kept seeing the Wheel of Fortune reverse. So I'm really curious as to those are going to come out in your reading. And it's funny because as I say that, I look down and then the Ace of Pentacles is still right here. So this is telling me that there is a new opportunity that is floating around. You do have to work for it. It's not just going to magically land in your lap. There is a little bit of footwork that you have to do. But rest assured that when you identify this opportunity, it's yours to take. Um, so take that as it resonates, my group number threes. Let's get started. Angels, ancestors, spirits, and guides, thank you so much for allowing me to channel these messages for group three. What does group number three need to know about their career? What do they currently need to know about their career? What do my group number threes need to know about their career? What do my group number threes? Let's take this. All right, we got the five of cups. We got the four of wands reversed. We got the four of swords. We got the knight of swords. All right, my group number threes. There is a feeling of losing something here. There's a feeling of losing community, perhaps. There's a feeling that you're a little sad over feeling like you lost or your foundation is shaky. Um, and I feel like you need to rest, but right now you're not because you want to take action. But I want to take... It, We'll get into it, but any action that you take right now, it's not going to be like, it's not going to be the greatest is, is what I'm feeling only because you're not like rested and healed. There's a sense here that, that you need to heal from something. Thank you spirit for these messages. Thank you. You're ready for something big to change. Maybe you worked your way up to something and it's almost graduation time. Take that as it resonates. It doesn't have to be liter literal graduation. It could be a leveling up of some sort or just um, finishing off a major chapter and knowing that something... Okay. This Eight of Cups is for you, so we will leave that facing up. So yeah, there's a sense here of like you're being called to rest, even though you're not. And you know what? Hey, I get it. Like when you're, when you're ready for action, like you're like, no, now's not a time to rest. But I guess the rest is more like a healing period. I feel like there's something here that you need to heal from in order to prepare you to be in a really good place when you do get to this point of celebration, when you do get to this point of this new world, this new chapter starting for you. With the Knight of Swords here, I feel like you just have an idea and you want to like come running in, like come bolting in on your horse, like waving your sword around because you have this idea or you got this, you want this movement to happen. And right now, I feel like there is a group of people that you guys were working together on something. Maybe this is your team or it, it feels like a small group of people that 
maybe for a while you were holding on like out of fear or there is like a fear driven, like holding on to something, holding on to this group. But now there's a sense of like ready to release, ready to release the things that we were holding on to. And I do see that, um, you have the eight of cups at the bottom of the deck and this along with the five of cups, this shows sadness, but a knowing that you need to move on from something. I feel like you're moving on from something so that you can get your nine of cups so that you can get here so that you can get your wish fulfillment. You're making the sacrifices. You're making the hard decisions to leave something behind so that you can get to this place. It's almost like a rite of passage. I feel like you're going through, um, right now we have the hangman along with the world. So there is movement happening, but at this moment in time, you might not feel it and you might not see it. You might find yourself sitting still there are two cards here of sitting back and sitting still. It's like for you to heal and gain a bigger, like the person the for to gain a, a wider perspective of the situation. It, it's like, you're going to see things differently when you just pull back a little bit. It's like bigger picture stuff. Um, but I do see this, this world is here and it is like a celebration because it is something that you worked for. There's something here about you making sacrifices and working for something to get yourself to this nine of cups, which is your manifestation. Your a wish that you had at one point is coming true and it's very beautiful and it is going to lead it's going to leave you feeling like this queen of pentacles, someone who's very stable, very nurturing. Um, maybe you're viewed as a leader on the team. Um, you give great advice. You're very stable and you're probably making better money is what I'm getting from that. It shows you being very abundant. Um, in this position that is going to be starting for you. Rest assured, it is there for you. The opportunity is there for you. But right now, the universe wants you to heal. They want you to get past the sadness and this feeling that there's a break in your foundation, that there's something not working out. Um, I feel like there's something here you need to release and, and make those decisions to walk away if you haven't already from whatever it is, leaving whatever it is that you need to leave behind. And, and you are going to gain a different perspective of the situation. And I do feel like you are in for a very nice beginning of whatever this, this world chapter is for you. I really love this group number three. It's really nice. And um, it shows you, like I said, it shows you being this queen of pentacles, someone who's the head of something. Um, very beautiful, creative person, feminine energy coming through. All right. Thank you, Spirit, for those messages. Can we? Oh, look at the Empress. The Empress wanted to say hi to the Empress with that Queen of Pentacles is very beautiful. Someone who's very fertile with ideas, someone who um, plants seeds and they just grow very, very beautiful, attractive energy. Group number three. Thank you, Spirit, for those messages. What advice do we have for my group number threes? What advice do we have for my group number threes? advice do we have for my group number threes? What advice do we have for my group number threes? Lots of masculine energy coming through for your advice. Thank you, spirit. Let's see bottom of the deck. Look at that. Three of pentacles. So I still see, we'll leave that out. That card really likes you. There's still collaboration going on here. There's something about collaboration. All right, let's see, what do we get? We have the King of Cups, we have the Emperor, we have the Knight of Wands, lots of masculine energy here. We have the Guru, which is like the hero font, about a structure, you know, maybe you becoming the teacher, like I said, I see um, 
I see you becoming the head of something, some someone that people come to to uh, learn from. Um, is what I'm getting. Like I said, I feel like you worked hard to get to where you're at. We do have the Four of Pentacles again. So I feel like, um, and the, the Ten of Wands reversed. We have the Knight of Cups. Lots of love. Lots of love coming through. Lots of loving feelings coming through. Very um, emotionally... Um, intelligent is what I'm getting. Now it's like the word that came to mind is someone who's very, um, like in control of their emotions and probably has a good capacity to understand how other people feel, feel. And I do feel like there is like a romantic offer kind of like maybe something that feels really good. Like even though this is not a love reading, but a romantic offer, meaning like an offer that's going to feel very enticing, very, it, it's just going to be a very sweet offer that you get, um, or that comes up here with the emperor. This is someone that just takes charge. And I feel like when this comes up, you're going to take charge and you're going to release the things that were causing you overburden. I do think that you are going to, like, when you choose to walk away and leave behind and, you know, whatever it is that you're, you're walking away from, I do think that that is you stepping into your masculine and just releasing, like releasing the burdens, the whatever was you know, a heavy weight on you that you were carrying that is no longer serving you. I feel like you are going to be dropping those things, whatever those are. Um, there's a sense here of you holding, still wanting to hold on to something. And spirit is just pointing out that the energy might be coming off a little hot and cold, you know, like even though you are trying to release, it's almost like a sense of still wanting to hold on. And the energy does go into hot and cold. So we definitely don't want to get stuck in this Knight of Wands energy that is very exciting one moment, but then decides to pull back. When we do that, we kind of slow down the en the energy and the flow of things. When we keep telling the universe, no, 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 yes, 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 no, 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 yes, yes, yes. It's almost like we don't want that to become a blockage. And I feel like that's being pointed out here that there is still almost like your second nature is to want to hang on to something probably because you were used to hanging on to it, but it, it's, it's okay. It's time to let it go because you are stepping into this very beautiful role is what I'm seeing for you. My group number threes with the hero font here, like I said, I feel like I see you as a teacher. I see you as someone who's maybe high up on the structure that people come to you and they learn from you and, and it is a very abundant position. It's, I feel like you're going to be happy and you're going to be proud because you are going to make difficult decisions. You're going to make decisions that aren't for everyone. Like people can go years with staying in a comfort zone. And I feel like you decided to do the hard work and get yourself to this position is what I'm seeing, but it's not without the help of collaborators. Look, and that queen of pentacles is still here. So this is very beautiful energy, my group number threes. Whatever it is you're stepping into, um, it seems like it's very fitting for you. All right. Let's do, let's get some Oracle cards and see what they have to say. Thank you, Spirit, for those messages. Can we please get some Oracle cards for group number three? What else does group number three need to know about their career? Thank you. We have movement and comfort. Wasn't I just saying about comfort zones? We have anger. Yeah, I could see that with the five of cups. There's something here to let go of, something from the past. And it's um, maybe it's something that caused you anxieties. But I feel like it's time to let it go because there is movement. You know, I'm not one to tell you to let things go, but 
I'm just saying it's time to heal from. There's something about healing coming through, about something from the past. When ghost comes up, the ghost kind of rears its head after a while, and it's almost like here to remind us, like, what do we have to work on? So there's something here about healing from the past so that you can have this beautiful, abundant um, beginning, this opportunity that's coming, and, and probably you're already aware of. Um, yeah, things are moving, even if you do feel like at this very moment, whenever you watch this, things are at a standstill. They are not. They are exactly how they're supposed to be. And comfort. I do think that you could possibly be walking away from a comfortable situation, but I do eventually see you like getting back into a new comfort like whatever the new version of comfort is going to be. And I say that just because that queen of pentacles is very um, comfortable sitting up on her throne, you know, very abundant group number three. Oops. Put those on top of the tarot. All right. Let's get some charms for you before we close out your reading. Thank you spirit for those messages. What else do my group number threes? need to know. Let's give them a good turn so you don't get the same ones as the other groups. What do my group number threes need to know? Thank you, Spirit. We have Sexy MF. I love this. So maybe you're a Sexy MF or maybe you are a Prince fan. Take it as it resonates. We have La Mami, which this could be like a Queen of Pentacles because the Queen of Pentacles is a motherly figure, someone who's very nurturing. I think this is pointing out your nurturing side. You're probably known as someone that other people can come to for advice. Um, those are just pin backings that fell off. No wonder I get stabbed all the time. We have you are enough. So this is confidence. The queen of pentacles is very confident. So if something happened that took that like knocked on your confidence a little bit, maybe that's part of the healing that's coming through. I do think that there are some feelings to sort through here before you can fully step into that queen power. We have the Santa Selena pin. Maybe someone here loves Selena or yeah, maybe, um, maybe you're protected by St. Selena. <laughs> Take it as it resonates. And then we have one of my favorite pins. We have keep at it. And that's exactly what you got to do. You just got to keep at it and know that things are moving, even if you don't see them for you know, moving physically, um, energetically, things are moving. My group number threes, that is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I will catch you at the next one. Thanks guys.